This exercise will help you really learn how powerful and elegant blocks can make your code. What we're going to do for this exercise is program up the game of Mastermind. So the game of Mastermind is a two-player game. It's pretty fun. You have one player who guesses a hidden set of colors, and the first player, first they set up that set of colors in a way that the other player can't see them. So they pick a pattern. They can be colored pegs like red, black, white, blue, green. And then the other player tries to guess it. And as they make their guesses, they get information on how correct their guesses are. So for example, if they get a peg that's the right color but in the wrong spot, they get a white peg. And for the number of pegs that are in the right spot and the right color, they get a black peg. They don't necessarily know which peg it is that's in the right spot or the right color. They just know how many are the right spot, right color, and how many are the right spot, or right color, wrong spot. We're going to implement this game, but we're not going to use colors. We're instead going to use digits. So we're going to implement sort of mastermind with digits. Blocks are going to be really helpful in this project. You can use them to initialize the list of numbers that the computer has in its mind. That's the player who's making up the hidden pattern. And you can use them to store the list that the user is guessing. You can also use them to guess, not guess, but to count the number of black pegs and the white pegs so that you're telling that to the user. So let's go ahead and do a demo of my program. So when I write my program, I had it start on the flag. It says, I'm thinking of my numbers. That means it's just guessing them. I'm, I chose already to have three numbers, so I'm entering three numbers separated by spaces. I'm going to guess one, two, three. And it's going to tell me back how many white pegs and black pegs I have. And also, up here in the corner, it's going to show me the guess history. So the number of black pegs is zero. It means I didn't, and the white pegs is zero. So whatever the computer guessed, it didn't have the numbers one, two, or three in it. So I'm going to guess four, five, and six. I didn't get anything in the right spot, and I didn't get any of the right numbers. I got one of them in the right spot that time was seven, eight, nine, and two of the numbers are correct. So we could keep going, but this is the game that you're going to be writing. You'll get to be playing it lots and lots. So I want you to go ahead and use blocks and have a lot of fun with this project.